All right, so good morning, everyone, and uh, happy Friday. Happy Friday, Rupali. You are still on Thursday night evening, right? Karuna, isn't it? Thursday, sorry. Are you still? Are you still in the Canada time zone somewhere on Thursday? No, no, no. Are you back? Yeah. Okay. Good. All right. So I let me share my screen now to get started. Yes. We were looking at. So this is where we have to. No, not five. Uh, not six. We're supposed to be starting from error prevention. Yeah. All right. So uh, quickly, uh, as a quick recap, that our usual custom, we what we did was we looked at. Okay, what are you seeing? Really, tell me. Uh, if somebody can tell me. Hello. Hey, I am I audible? Yes. Yes, you are audible. So are you seeing the error prevention slide? Yes. OK, thank you. OK, so um, okay. So what we really saw uh, in the last uh, session was we looked at error prevention. OK, so I like to understand what is error prevention is uh, where we saw that there are two different types of error prevention, the way they are categorized by uh, the uh, Jacob Nielsen's uh, team is there are two types of uh, uh, mistakes that happen. Is one is slips and another is uh, mistakes. Mistakes are typically done by people who are still exploring new to the system and intend to reach their goal but could just go wrong somewhere uh, in the uh, flow, right? What are slips? Slips are usually done by um, regular users who are already experts and they are somewhere you know subconsciously doing things uh, in their minds they have clarity uh, of what they are doing so they are not putting a lot of attention to things it is just a, a routine work and at that point of time they could just end up doing some kind of an error so those are slips that is how they have categorized it and to take care of these there are uh, things that can be done like you can put add cons constraints you can add confirmations uh, right uh, if there are issues and you can have uh, adequate information so that the error uh, so that there is prevention of an error or uh, firstly give adequate information so that information is uh, a user is able to take the correct action not go wrong that is one second is put constraints so that a uh, user is not allowed to slip, right? There are no mistakes that happen, OK? Third is, if still there are errors that are getting created, you know, you pause and ask the user, is this what re really you would want to do? And there are multiple ways of doing it. Completely depends on the context that you're designing, OK? All right, so let's move and jump to the, I can see there are examples that are getting added. The second one that we looked at was recognition rather than recall. Two aspects again here. What, what is recognition versus what is recall? Recall is something that you really think about. And like Karuna gave an example, recogni recognition is visual. You just quickly recognize, or through your auditory system, you can recognize uh, certain things quickly. But when you have to really recall, what is it really that I am listening to, or who is this? What what is that I'm really watching? Is this this or is this that? So when you want to give some details to that. You use your memory uh, and uh, get into the uh, information. You search for information and you gather it, right? So how do you reduce that cognitive load to the user is something that has to be uh, worked on. So the user, uh, there are uh, things that are really cl clearly laid up front. Things are handy. Uh, the information is categorized well, or you give uh, the user the capacity to really 
be able to save or create their own spaces where they can collect things for themselves so that the next time that they come, they don't have to really stress their mind on what did I do the last time? Oh, I can really reach out to whatever I did. It could be bookmarks, it could be likes, uh, it could be any kind of containers which are labeled and uh, uh, the user can really organize those, right? So these are a few things that we saw in this. Uh, moving ahead, uh, we, the last one that we uh, studied was flexibility and efficiency of use. What we saw here was that there are different types of users. You start with a user who is really new to the system and eventually picks up, uh, uh, understands the product and picks up speed and do, does different types of actions and comes to a stage where now the user is an expert. So we have to cater to all those types of users who so have an action that the user is performing with a lot of guidance initially, eventually can be handled in different ways. Uh, so you're giving a lot of flexibility in the system uh, so that the user can take actions faster at a later point of time, right? When, when I say later point of time, when they are experts in the system, right? And you have to give uh, equal focus to both of these if your product is already evolved and at a stage that it has uh, it has met certain expectations right if you are you know basic expectations to some um, uh, you know it is completely functional and things like that right but when you start when your product is really <clears throat> at a very nascent state as an early state it is just launch you will see to it that our new users mostly right they're not mostly all of those are going to be new users because your product is new that is when you would want to start uh, your product with a, a UX which is more guided and eventually grow into it because this is all expensive, right? When you are giving different kinds of different ways to uh, um, take certain actions, uh, then, uh, and here is what we saw, right? The first one, what we saw, it could be guided, it is slower, it can have step-by-step uh, -step methods while we saw that uh, for experts, there could be uh, accelerators, there are keyboard um, actions, right and it is faster okay and it doesn't come in the way of guided so it is not upfront there it is somewhere probably layered or subtle uh, but the expert users will once they understand it they will be able to um, use uh, those ways okay so these are the points that we looked at uh, last time uh, okay and i understand that ambalika has uh, some session to attend so we can take up uh, her examples first yeah, Amalika, you want to get started? Yes, to them. Yeah. For error prevention, I have noticed that um, your slide. Of this Hello? One. Yes. Uh, so which yeah. slide do you want me to go to the 74th slide? Yeah, this this one. Perfect. OK, go ahead, please. So for the Microsoft Word, it's an easy example. Mm -hmm. So you can see here if some uh, you know the spelling error, spelling mm. mistake. So Microsoft Word, uh, they prompt you to uh, rectify those mm. spelling mistakes. So it is very easy to uh, understand, or um, uh, you know, um, identify uh, those errors. Yeah, yeah, find those errors, and uh, you can you can from this mistake you can. Uh, actually um, rectify those errors and you can go ahead with your uh, un means, means, uh, it's perfect uh, documentation you can submit. Correct. Correct. So, uh, and now we've seen uh, other products like we've seen Grammarly uh, and yes. we've seen how Correct. it starts recommending also. So that, uh, so I would say there is also advancement in how, so first is yes, you to your point, perfect, is that you are trying to prevent uh, errors in the content that the user is really authoring. So because while they are submitting this document or um, it's an email, whatever it is, you know, uh, there are no errors, there are no typos that they submit it with. Perfect, mm. this is a great example. Yeah, even I can notice that you know, from native uh, user also, they actually sometimes uh, mistake uh, hmm. is for the similar uh, kind of emails or something uh, sentence. Hmm. So not for only uh, Asian or Indian, uh, they also do the mistakes. So True. this is a good example. 
Correct. Correct. So even if that is not the primary language of the user, uh, even, uh, uh, sorry, you are saying the other way around. Even if it is a primary language of the user, still they, uh, there are chances of uh, uh, inducing errors while typing. True. Yes. OK, what else? Is there any, any other example that you want me to touch on that you've added? Uh, I have only for uh, error prevention, I have this only. OK, this is the only one. OK, no problem. All right, so I think this is the first slide in error prevention, right? Yeah. So let's move ahead. Next, Arup. Yeah, hi, Rupali. Hello. So uh, here I can uh, say that this is a very uh, easy example when we are uh, sending a mail uh, without attachment and uh, we wrote in the body that there is the attached file is here. So there is a double check by the system, and it says that uh, it, it, it's a kind of alert that yeah. say that you have missed your attachment. And uh, so you have that option also that you can send it anyway, or you can have a, uh, a rectify it by attaching the files or something else, what you want to. Perfect. Perfect. Both examples are good, Arup and uh, Balika, both. Yeah. And but uh, in Balika case, uh, which uh, she has shown that, uh, the screenshot that was good, Amalika, where the users are taking the care of it, there are the mistakes. And it's in the software industry, like uh, which, uh, sorry, it's in the which Arun has shown. Where uh, can you go back to uh, that screen? Yeah. So here we are not only the system is understanding basically. You said attach that capture the word by system, and it is saying like you, but you have missed that. So before that user is making a mistake, that uh, they are giving a, a kind of warning. Or maybe an instruction. Yeah. So if you uh, and they are very interesting, uh, both of these. See, when we we've been using editors for a very long time, right? So while this, you know, we start thinking whatever Ambalika has brought here, you know, this is expected. This is basic. You know, any kind of an editor would expect to show me errors, right? So this is an expectation, okay? But once when we first started using editors, imagine go into that state. Whoever has used editors earlier, and the grammar check might have not been there, or even the typo check was not there. You know, it was a struggle to really go through it, or if it is absent for some reason, right? But now, if you're looking at an era where editors have been used for a very long time and have been used on all social media and all of that. This is a basic. If you look at a pyramid and where you say your expectations grow as you go to the top, and this would be somewhere at the base, right? Now, this is a very completely different concept, nothing in any ways related to heuristics, but I want you uh, to just reflect on what we're saying here, okay? Moving ahead, right? This is something you did not expect the system to really cross check and tell you that, oh, I have mentioned I have put a word as attachment, and it is you know telling you that, by the way, you did not attach anything. While you said it is attached, right? Now this is comes as a surprise. This is not from an user's expectation. It is not gone to a level that you know every editor would be doing this. So this comes as a pleasant surprise, right? And this is where you start trusting the product that you are using, and uh, you get associated with it, and you start being, um, you know, some kind of a promoter of uh, that editor, and say, you know, you'll just pass on that word ah, by the way you want to do this you please use this this is reliable right so the whole aspect of ux of persuasion and um, all of those aspects that is how you would just engage with the product higher and higher right and this course keeps changing like probably five years down the line most of the editors would be doing this so this comes to a level of the base level again which is basic expectations right this is a wow experience uh, about uh, Rupali mm -hmm. because uh, you know it's actually they're saving user to be embarrassed. Like yeah. earlier, I remember before this one, many times I send an email without attachment and I said I'm attached. I have attached the document and it happened with my other colleagues as well. But yeah. when this uh, message came or even the last time we had discussed about uh, before sending, after sending that Google is giving that message like do you want to send or something like that. The, the, so that's so it, something like yeah that. yeah so that was also like it's it's like the great research and that's why they have added into this correct correct well done and, yeah all right so uh, 
so here is the second example that i have taken that uh, this is a very simple example that the first one what you can see that uh, uh, in a in a road or in a way uh, to your destination mm. that you can see that is the uh, visualization that can say that yeah work is uh, uh, going on and so the road is closed and you should take that directed diversion yeah. so that you don't need a mistake okay so yeah. this is a good example i can see and second one is that a clear warning that if you do a mistake so you can be punished or you can be fined uh, for that mm -hmm. okay so would you categorize this into error prevention Mm, yes, so some uh, first one is uh, yeah, first one yes. is yes. first yes. one is definitely yes. It and is. they are showing the uh, the this uh, what is called the impact. Like if you are doing this, then you the warning, whatever the five hundred dollars is what is said. Like warning five hundred dollars, right? It's a mm -hmm. fine. Yeah. So it's like they're they're so serious about it. This is the same thing when we are creating any error message. We should always say like what okay, this is a message then. What the user supposed to do it? That is, of course, that is not. It's um, maybe a part of the error prevention. But this is the thing that, they, uh, in my understanding, that they are giving. Right. So you, what you are saying is there is an impact because you are going to be losing five hundred percent. Somebody is going to be coming and giving you a ticket of five hundred uh, rupees. So mm -hmm. you are warned before that mistake happens. Yes. 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 Got it. Okay. Interesting. And yeah, it is interesting to have non ui examples also so many times right it gives you a different dimension to start thinking great anybody any thoughts on any of these examples that we've looked at okay varun yeah so this example i have taken from gmail only mm -hmm. so while sending email sometimes we in hurry or maybe if i want to send only attachment yeah we just attach the attachment and send try to send the email that time this message pop up that you have not uh, put subject or text in the body right. so that prevent so prevent the mistake so i can put subject and text and then i can send the email true true yeah. good yes. this is a, this is a good example yeah. very similar to attachment um, yeah, yeah. But attachment is really going through your content, and this is going through a field and cross-checking. Yes. Okay. All right. Yes, so, Yeah. So the second example is from mobile phone. If <clears throat> user wants to delete any <clears throat> any thing, any card or something like that, so the system shows delete and cancel both in different colors, like delete in red color, cancel in gray or maybe black. Mm. So that shows like uh, color indicates the prevention. Like yeah. users will get alert key. Am I going to do the wrong, you know, wrong input or action? Correct, correct. So now think in this way, uh, Barun. Uh, mm. This is good example. Then what what happen if suppose someone have the um, color blindness or yeah. having some challenge? So is that the this error prevention is only for the normal people? Or even it is having some uh, visual challenge, or the maybe the auditory challenge, or maybe the all sort of maybe the motor challenge. You can think from all the way, okay? Okay, fine. Thanks very much. Yeah. Auditory is not correct because it's it's assumed that they he might be seeing that. So auditory may maybe you can eliminate, but the rest of the things you can think about it. Okay, thank you. Yeah. All right, so Hill. Yeah, so I've added two examples in that. Uh, the same as a delete option, uh, which is one on the left hand side. Uh, hmm. that, there was no space to it. That's why. Yeah. And there is another one which is to rename the same name if you are having the same name in the same folders and all. So it Correct. also suggests you, okay, do you want to add two dot .xvg or keep it the copy way? Because you can't do so. So they're suggesting like, uh just a copy tha copy ko aap uh, lock hi rakh rahe ho jaise wo screenshot mein upar dikh raha hai and as a suggestive measures wo bracket mein two karke they are suggesting ke try using this yeah yeah so this is that example correct 
and the left one is that delete one option correct so further or bhi hai option once you delete from here still you can go to recycle bin and again it when you try to delete again it shows that pop up yeah the feature is you can restore back correct yes so that's a additional right yeah additional. probably you know we put a confirmation still user goes ahead and delete it still it is there in the recycle bin and you can retrieve it if it is required so you are taking you are valuing the users content really as much as the user would or more than how you know user would really would want to the yeah. user take a decision of just deleting it right but yeah. you you consider that and the user might just change the mind and you know might want to really retrieve it yeah. at a later point of time yeah also this is a, a, a feature wherein you can disable this pop up where you don't need a, a confirmation okay so that is for the power user if he doesn't want to like every time you delete and getting this pop up correct correct because anyways it was going to be going in the yeah, recycle bin and recycle bin you can restore it back yeah yeah and in some apps what happens they give some time limit like Correct. after 24 days it will get deleted yeah. and all yeah so this is also an example of flexibility that you brought in right yes yeah same in, for, for a guided user for a novice user a guided user you don't know you want to yeah you would really have keep on having confirmations but more somebody like an admin who is supposed to be seeing to it that the system is clean probably it's a, a very important system that is in place and has to see to it that it is always managed and clean and up to date Correct. and as a control and is always aware that it, things are going to be lying in the recycle bin i can just retrieve it that yeah. is a thing that you don't want to really keep having this yeah so what happens like if you are using this particular file in some other file hmm. so and for that reason only this pop up shows up because yeah. it it gets deleted in your folder if it's still available in your recycle bin the recycle bin still okay. that file will not be visible on your uh, the application which will you be adding to it correct okay yep. good examples any thoughts questions anybody okay namrata yeah hi everyone good morning uh so this is the example uh, that i uh, uh, i believe that that is a error prevention uh, uh, good example so in any of the search like also in google or any other website they offers the search related search option so some if someone or user just slips uh, or misspell something so they can suggest that these are the uh, related search could be so these are the error prevention and they cannot memorize that they, they uh, the user needs not to memorize the what is the spelling exact spelling so they can just select that and uh, search for that item so yeah this is just an example of slip uh, of uh, uh, error prevention right so you've covered two things here one is error while you're talking while you're talking you yeah. error prevention and uh, uh, not really expecting the user to recall recall right right both the like both the heuristics are pass of this example recognition also yes very good any other thoughts questions agree don't agree bagishri thoughts on this i was about to give this example in re uh, recall recognition wala thing the <laughs> google search yeah okay yeah all right let's move on to the next one yes nilesh yeah so this is a confirmation uh, we get before transactions on the our banking applications to avoid accidental payments yeah correct so it is confirming before you doing a transactions it's important uh you're going to be transferring your money so it is very important correct okay now what i did not see in error prevention none of the examples had the constraints examples mostly it was after you've taken an action it was about confirmation uh or there was about it was about giving user adequate so suggestions which namrata brought up 
but no nobody really brought up the example of a constraint anybody wants to talk about any example that comes to your mind in reference to because there is no example i just want anybody thinking about can think about anything in reference to constraints and when we are saying constraints what are constraints is that we saw this right before even the error happens what are ways of you not letting those errors to really get started and happen no way that they can happen. i have one yeah namrata <laughs> yeah so i have one thing in my mind like i don't know if it is uh, this will fall under error prevention or not but whenever we are using uh, like uh, google map so uh, google map for the for route so mm. they uh, sometimes they gave us the shorter route right and they just gave a estimated time eta time uh, slower than other route so i guess uh, that is kind of a error prevention so user are uh, very much aware of that okay <clears throat> this route it going to be uh, taking more time to reach the destination and other route is not so i guess they could be an example of error prevention okay so that's information that they are giving okay. yes I'm yes about constraints okay constraints right so yeah what you've given is a good example but i'm asking more about constraints because nobody spoken about it. yeah so elio said something yeah so in the normal fields if your user is filling anything like last time also we discussed on that hmm. input fields may whatever there is validation hmm. as soon as user enters is enters it or before entering any details hmm. give that uh, note like suppose you are attaching a, a, an image hmm. so what is that file format what is the size limit and those information hmm. and after you upload if there is an, an error it shows that second error prevention yeah something before more... even submitting yeah yeah i i rupali arup here yes so uh, in the in this case that i can see that when uh, uh, when we are uh, going to uh, input some fields of a email format okay yeah. so sometimes in the input field there is a, a placeholder that uh, says that the proper what what should be the proper uh, format of that email hmm. so that can be a uh, like a constant word it is a recommendation right okay it's a recommendation but it is not a constraint it's okay. you are you okay. saying yeah so what you're saying is for emails there is a field for is that what you're saying sorry i did not uh, get you then yes 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 the, when 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 we are we are going to uh, put a email yeah in, in the input field so sometimes they uh, they have a placeholder in that input field mm. that uh, that says that the right format is that xyz at the red gmail.com something like that yeah correct it is similar like like the password we have many times like we give the password yes. constraint like maybe the mm. eight characters Uh, special characters are not allowed. Correct. Correct. Okay. Yes, that is also one. So uh, I don't know. I was just looking while we were talking. I was looking at some other example. You know, um, I uh, recently I had seen this video somewhere on LinkedIn, uh, WhatsApp. I don't remember where I saw saw seen it. But there is this lady who she has a oil lamp, and it is uh, more famous, I think, and popular in North. Uh, Uh, in central uh, india okay where you pour the oil uh, from the top if you invert the complete vessel or that oil lamp it doesn't drip there is a physics that is there it doesn't drip okay but if you one from the it is like a um, it has a pout right it is like your um, teapot it has a pout and if you, uh, you if you pour it on from one side you can pour out the oil right so i don't know if it is an oil lamp or it is some kind of a vessel it is there but the the way it is created if you pour oil inside that you know there is just one way that the oil can come out okay which is from the pout even if it is there is a big opening without a lid uh, there is a opening at the top to pour in oil if you even if you invert it completely the oil will not get out right and that is what constraints i was talking the way it is just created it will see to it that there is no you know error that happens 
Has anybody seen that? I'm sorry, I am describing it, but I could not find. <laughs> yes, Rupali. Yeah. Actually, another example is it something that when we do the usability testing, mm -hmm. that could be also the error prevention, and we have the set of uh, guidelines to follow that how it should be. Uh, and then uh, we, when we taste the design, we understand the uh, the errors into that from the user's behavior perspective or uh, their uh, their experience perspective, and then we make the changes. So it's, it, that could be also coming into the error prevention and uh -huh. constraint. Yeah. From a process perspective, yes. From a process perspective, yes. Okay. So in I mean in the real life also, I think like when we fly, before that, the pilot mm. and the other crew, they get mm. some standards to check. And also the other other staff, like whether the petrol is uh the, it's yeah. enough, it's in the uh, in the flight, uh, whether the the pilot, whether he's drunk or not drunk, or all such kind of things also they check basically the standard list. Yeah, so that can also come uh, in this. Absolutely, that's an example of a, a maybe same thing for the food food industry. Like when we are bringing the food from the hotel, so they before that they have some uh, they have the checklist whether it's a clean, whether the chef has wore that cap and the hand gloves and all the stuff. Yeah, that also come into true. All right, let's move. And if you look at, uh, if you look at also, uh, if you look at constraints, there are all around you. There, there, you know, just like for example, if you are crossing a metro, I'm uh, sorry, you are in a metro station and you have you have the ticket or uh, whatever that uh, coin is called, and you want to pass through it, right? So there is only one way that you can really show that you know have that um, check done of that coin and then you can uh, pass through it there is no way that a person from inside the station can pass through that because they, they it will just that gate will not open up correct am i able to explain what uh, what i'm trying to say here yes but yeah. uh, what what is the error here can you repeat it again rupali yeah. sure so what i was trying to say here is that when you are entering a metro, metro station and you want you have taken your ticket okay which is typically your uh, what is it called coin it's only yeah. coin right we'll just call it a coin for now right and it's a coin and you want to you are entering the station right and no way that people without that coin really will be entered uh, uh, enter through it because it that gate will just not open right nobody from inside also would be able to come through it because from the other side of the system there is no way that the gate again opens right so there is just one way at one single person can enter through it only if you have the right coin which is charged so they are so it is where you know without any uh, person standing there to watch and see there is no ticket checker that is there typically traditionally that we have had for trains and everything is there is nobody that is a ticket ticket checker standing there to cross check right nobody just there to see to it on metros you know is there any you know side route that you are taking to just get into the metro that is the only way that you can enter inside it and you need to have the ticket so is that a constraint that is already put in place so the ad there is prevention of any kind of misuse of the system yes. or efforts that can be added. Uh, Rupali, I, I want to give one simple example. I oh. don't know if, if there is a category of constraint or not. Okay. So if any public place like, uh, like a, a train station, okay. mm. so there lot of staircase and uh, many ways like get number one get number two mm -hmm. so if someone a uh, physical uh, disability person mm -hmm. uh, with a wheelchair want to get into the station so mm -hmm. he or she has means you know the full right to get into the station to board into the train right mm -hmm. but they are unable to go inside uh, the train station uh, the uh, platform because of the only way to get into the, the staircase. Hmm. So there is no slides or anything to someone help him to her or her to get into the station. 
hmm. so this is the i think this is the constraint of uh someone to no no thanks ambalika for bringing that up because then i can clarify what you brought up is a very important point from uh, usability of a system right but it is flexibility and efficiency of use somebody has a different need is the system uh, able to support that correct so that's a the question there is a disabled uh, people who have to uh, really use your system or a product will they be able to use that is the question that you have brought okay yeah. then it's the problem with the you have not given flexibility uh, hmm. them, right yeah. so that, that is one just okay. like for our uh, accessibility we all have right to use yeah. our uh, system right correct but that's the same likewise we have all right to use our public uh, section correct so, but when it's all about constraints constraints is a completely a different thing amalika constraint is that you you cannot just do an error because the constraint is like that you cannot do an error so like for example you know imagine your um, kitchen ka oil ka bottle constraint okay. is a set of rules itna bol do rupani it it can be a set of rules or it it is the way the product is designed ki wo error hoga hi nahi okay so if you have seen um, see you have seen uh, these uh, boil uh, bottles oil bottles which has droppers at the top correct to jab bhi aap usko ulta karte ho to ek hi single drop ek time mein aayega not the not a kitchen oil but i'm just saying you know the, those bottles so what is the the oil is supposed to be used just in drops right Ag, agar aapne upar drop da, rakha nahi rehta tha agar wo constraint रखा नहीं रहता था तो वो कोई तो पूरा वो उल्टा कर देता था पूरा ऑयल आ जाता था आउट राइट बट यू आर नॉट सपोज टू बी यूजिंग इट लाइक दैट यू आर जस्ट सपोज टू बी यूजिंग काउंटिंग ड्रॉप्स एंड यूजिंग इट या सो दैट इज अ कंस्ट्रेन यू एड टू द प्रोडक्ट लाइक फॉर एग्जाम्पल अगर न्यूमेरिक फील्ड रहेगा ओके okay, यूआई में अगर यहाँ पे सिर्फ नंबर डालना है यहाँ पे सिर्फ आपको फोन नंबर डालना है या पिन कोड डालना है so it will just allow numerics you've seen in uh, so many uh, uh, this right a uh, phone number so it will say okay country code yahan pe dalo yahan pe aapka phone number dalo right or your drop downs so if you're saying select your country rather than putting it an open field you are saying select the country okay which has the names of countries so in nobody is going to have that open uh, instead of a open field it is giving you constraint which is a drop down Select between only this, correct? So ये error prevention का mechanism है कि आप constraint पहले ही डालो जो कल I think आरोप ने एक example दिया था कि password, आप जब भी नया password बना रहे हो अगर five rules है आपके already की alphabets चाहिए numerics चाहिए symbols चाहिए all of that, आप वहां पर tick करते जाओ अब मैं जब भी fill कर रहा हूँ वो फिल करने के बाद अगर आप बोलोगे नहीं आपने वो रूल में से आपने क्रिएट नहीं किया है पासवर्ड देन Uh, somebody has to do the whole uh, action again, right? So, पहले ही आपने constraints डाल दिया पहले ही आपने information भी डाल दिया आपने tick भी चालू कर दिया right? Some of these things. Does it make sense, Amalika? Yes, sir. Yeah, even calendars, right? Calendar भी आप open field दोगे उससे अच्छा अगर range है जहां पे यू सिलेक्टेड द स्टार्ट डेट एंड यू सिलेक्ट द एंड डेट इट बिकम्स वेरी इजी इट डजेंट हैव एन ओपन फील्ड कि आप वो जहां पे मंथ डालना है वहां पे आपने डे डाल दिया जहां पे मंथ जहां पे डे डालना है वहां पे मंथ डाल दिया ईयर है सिर्फ 23 डाल दिया 2023 नहीं डाला ऑल ऑफ दोस थिंग्स आर नॉट देयर यू आर सेविंग सो मच ऑफ एरर्स टू हैपन राइट सो दीस आर कंस्ट्रेंट्स दैट वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट so think about these keep an eye open to constraints because they are the first place that they are going to be stopping from errors to slip by ek okay. okay. example dekh sakte hain yes. signals okay. so i'll go on okay yeah, krishna sir i am already i was just talking about the metro, the metro station thing that you mentioned right yeah krishna uh, see it is not 100% full proof mm -hmm. there are two there are two different types of machines that can be used so one which has like the sliding chotu wala door types those can't be full proof those constraints don't work out as in uh, i sent you two images on chat i don't know if you can uh, it's on regular chat okay 
let me just put those up. <clears throat> yeah, okay, one second. Uh, let me change the sharing. Yeah. Oh, uh, yes. Or, huh. This is not actually a foolproof one because if I stand in between, right, it doesn't close. And I can take someone else with me when I'm walking through. Okay. Right. The other one, the, the second image that I kind of sent, that is more of a foolproof one. If you say because only one can walk through it. So when you're walking, right, it kind of rotates. Got it. So this can be a foolproof constraint, but the other one would not yeah. So what I'm saying is, yes, you're absolutely right. So there are two types of constraints that are already put. This is a better constraint. Yeah. This is not letting anything slip by. Yeah. Perfect. And these are constraints that we are talking about. For anybody, you know, if whoever needs clarification. Let not those errors happen. What can mm -hmm. we do so that the errors do not happen at all? And this is a better example, definitely. Yeah. So in my understanding, the previous example, which the other two, two images he has shown, right? So earlier they might have tried this and they find that someone is doing delegate, mm -hmm. delegating, then they are yeah. improvised. But the yeah. idea remains same. It's a constraint. It's yes, yes. Yeah. All right, let's move ahead. Sohil. Uh, no, I have a signal ka example there. Ah, uh, this is for that uh, recognition and recall. Wala. Sorry, yeah, but let me just stop you. If you're saying signal, single signal is still not a constraint. Single signal is information. वो आपको रोका नहीं देगा. वहाँ पे आपको वो आगे जाने को नहीं देगा ऐसा नहीं होगा. Correct. But when you have your traffic police and keeping a hand there and just not allowing you mm -hmm. to move ahead, right? If you are standing there. That is a one way of a constraint, but again, you know, that is not foolproof. Again, people might still pass by. Right? Uh, okay. yeah. I have a little uh, different uh, opinion over here. Uh, uh, I agree with uh, who has said that Sohil, right? Okay. English. Uh, Sohil, I agree with him because uh, see, it's in the different system, it's in India or the other country, they have the different system. So, we need a signal as well as the policeman, and still, we need some power to stop the people, but in general. Uh, the idea here is like if it is a red, it means stop. That that is a different complete scenario. The whether people is following or not. It's a green signal means go, and warning means like the yellow, which is we need to go cautiously. So I think that but, comes. But it's from still information thing. that you're giving, right? Yeah. So you have to stop. But what if I don't stop? It doesn't matter. It is in India or anywhere. But it's still like I don't want to stop. I don't want to stop. That's it. I'll pass on. Yeah. So, Karuna, we are not talking about error prevention as a whole. We were okay. just talking about constraints, right? Okay. So, as a error prevention, yes, you are right. And Sohil is also right. But we were saying that because there were no examples of constraints, let's just look at constraints. So, that way. Rupali, I had one more uh, huh. example. I don't know it will fall under it or not. No the toll that we passes, there's a yeah. fast tag also. So, yeah. does that also come under constraint? There is, but the yes, if the gate doesn't open until the time it swipes, right? Mm -hmm. uh, yes, of course, it is a constraint. Okay. Uh, I also mm -hmm. have one example. Uh, huh? so, so in bikes, uh, if it's in gear, uh, the bike will won't start unless you disengage the uh, clutch. So that also stops you from accidental things. So yeah, I think it's also in constant. Correct. Thank you for bringing such beautiful examples. Great. Yes. OK. All right. So move ahead. So hell, yes. Yeah. A lot of examples today. <laughs> Bolo. So this is for that recognition and recall. Okay. Instead of me typing anything and going back to some list and then finding it, so we see nowadays a lot of uh, products introducing this search via audio and this feature so uh -huh. may it be like tv uh internet based tv or your apps where in your search field it has that option to type but it also has that feature to like audio search it would you really put this in a recognition is something that i want to understand maybe a shorter but uh -huh. 
बिकॉज आई टेल यू वॉट यू नो रिकोगशन जब भी अब हम लोग बोलते हैं सी हियर वेन यू वॉन्ट टू टॉक यू स्टिल हैव टू रिकॉल कि आप कौन सा सॉन्ग सर्च कर रहे हो राइट यू विल हैव टू थिंक अबाउट आई दर दून आई डोंट नो इफ ट्यून गेट कैप्चर्ड बट आई यू विल हैव टू टॉक अबाउट दो वर्ड्स राइट सो देर इज सम अमाउंट ऑफ रिकॉल दैट इज डेफिनेटली देर राइट अनलेस अप फ्रंट ये बोलता था कि यू नो सो दिस इज द रिसेंट सॉन्ग दीज आर द मोस्ट पॉपुलर और दिस इज समथिंग दैट यू रिस लेकिन कभी कभी क्या होता है वी डोंट नो सॉन्ग का नाम या मूवी का नाम वी जस्ट नो द टोन तो मैं ऐसा कुछ भी साउंड बना के वो मैच करने का ट्राई करके देन इट फाइंड दैट करेक्ट ओके इफ इट इज डूइंग दैट इट इज ग्रेट इफ इट इज डूइंग दैट इट इज ग्रेट बट दिस इज एन yeah this is an example probably yes if it is helping or uh, uh, not letting ma- making people recall too much it is okay but i think let's look at more obvious examples more obvious ki ha yahan pe yes you know kuch user ko karne ki zyada zarurat hi nahi hai usne system ne hi bahut sara help kar diya yeah arup is rupali so here uh... i have added the example that is of one of bookmarks and another is the history so history is the by default features that uh, a browser stores in the earlier opened links so that i can easily access that links if i forward them yes and bookmarks is uh, everybody we know that what is the use of bookmarks so the same thing here that we can store the uh, important links here and whenever it is needed so we can easily access that correct so this is what the features that uh, browsers have done for the users so that they can uh, save their material and mm-hmm. somewhere you know this is where the u- user can save their material so that they can uh, uh, retrieve it whenever they want to and yes. this is what the feature is created so that it automatically keeps uh, remembering whatever you have accessed recently and so that you don't have to really depend uh, on your memory to identify yes. Perfect. Good. And another example I have. Sorry, Rupal. No problem. Bolo. Go ahead, Aro. You're on mute. Hmm. Bolo. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. Ha. Huh. So another example uh, that is in my mind. I don't know if it comes under this uh, point hmm. or not. So that is when we are going. When when we are taking to survey, any type of survey. So there are some uh, questions there. Hmm. So I think. when when there is a open field of answers and when there are some options to be taken from those hmm. so i think this is a good one for the option ones is the good one to recognition also yeah. rather than recalling the whole thing and you put the uh, uh, put the uh, answer in the open field correct correct all of us as kids we have gone through the exam- anxiety right even now if yes, you yes. find any kind of an exam there is anxiety uh, and when you have optionals when you have match the uh, columns kind of questions mm-hmm. or mm-hmm. fill in the blanks which is supported with the drop downs yes. drag and drop all of these right you get you feel more comfortable doing that you feel more confident versus if there are essay type of questions where you have to really mm-hmm. you know uh, really answer with all points keywords uh, remember all of that yeah yes perfect example okay thank you thank you varun so in mintra i have while login uh, it ask uh, mobile number so it is easier to put mobile number rather than email id and password yeah login yeah. very good example because <laughs> because yeah interesting isn't it uh, because exactly right we have faced so many times username and password i i am telling you personally i get so bothered username kyu pucha mujhe yaad hi nahi maine username ka you ask me my name you ask me my phone number but why are you asking my username because i don't recall what was the username i created right everybody i think has gone through these frustrations and this is a mobile number you know you it is something that is yes you will never forget it it is like your name now uh, it's your identity perfect mm-hmm. that's so simple to just sign up to a system also google google password like uh, when even if there is a username and password if you save in google password it will automatically fill up the information yes even login by google yeah because google android systems most everybody has a google so it is just sign up by google makes it so easy for anybody to rather than you know spending time on that login page itself 
Yes. Yeah. Interesting. Yes, Amrita. Uh, so this is the example where I feel this is a recognition rather than recall this point is uh, failed. So every time we have seen that to download, to open our pay slip each and every month, they, there is a field that we have to put our PAN number. So that is very difficult to recognize, like to remember. So we, every time we are going back and check uh, what is our PAN, because we are not frequently using that PAN number. Yeah. So I thought there should be some cues uh, to like for the user to, uh, to uh, access this field. Uh -huh. Interesting, but think about security. Yeah, that yeah. is also yeah, that right. is also there. So uh, exactly, you know, see when we are designing anything or when we are testing anything, we have to have uh, the con important important aspect is context. Aap kya karne ko hai? What is the intent of what you are doing? Right, that intent becomes the most important thing, right? So then you have to have the ux appropriately pe security is the most important thing yeah so therefore they, whatever is done is done in that way so we might not want to really have this as this will have to be recalled or okay. it can be done in a different way maybe it can be done in a different way you are right and a better solution could be there but uh yeah because it is security therefore it has become made so difficult so mm -hmm. the Amrita context is here important. Mm -hmm. What is the context? Mm -hmm. Context is important. Right, right, right. But for me, but, and, but I'm not saying that you know this. There is no better way of doing this. Definitely, there, there could every problem has a better solution in the future. So yes, you're right. But always weigh what what is user friendly versus what is not. So if you are going to open your bank locker, imagine if you have had that experience uh what how much effort it takes right it is not something that is very convenient so because it needs security that is the only thing but right. really in this in this context uh, every time what i can see that there is a clear information or clear format that is already mentioned so in the email that. in the email it is already mentioned that wherever yes. it's happening, yeah it will tell you what all you have to do yes also it's a related other password if i'm not able to remember it shows like a browser you can still save it like uh, just info web or Joby uh, login hota hai. Hmm. so it saves your uh, password and username everything in one place yeah yeah but this is a pdf so pdfs they PDF will... hoga, lekin it's a related ah. that. Like, correct correct that. Passwords are related hai. Lekin PDF ka rahega, to kuch kuch to security uh, expectations rahega. It is either it is your some part of your name, some birth date, something, whatever is that. If there is some kind of a logic in which the password is. Correct. Wo file format ke saath embed hota hai, but wo jo agar URL based hai, to fir wo capture karta hai. Browser. True. Same goes to tumare mobile iOS app mein bhi hota hai. Right. You have a feature where all the passwords, wherever you have logged in, it shows the complete list. Correct. Okay. okay. I just wanted to share one fun fact over here. Yesterday, huh. I think yesterday or day before yesterday, when we were talking about the recognition, I mentioned there are the faces and the voice that we can recognize. But yeah. here, the actual thing is happening. Whenever uh, Sohil is speaking, I feel like Mahesh is speaking. I don't know what. And I keep on tracking. Whenever he's, uh, he's talking, I just checking in the right side by the, the list of the participants. I just say, oh, okay, Sohil is saying like, oh, uh, but this this can happen. And and this is true. Like sometimes we listen someone's voice and we it's in our memory. Somebody stored that particular person speaks in this way or something like that. It's all yeah. some memory game. The more yeah, the more and more we are then uh, talking, uh, the more and more we are exposed to each other's listening, then we get adapted to it and we will be able to recognize faster. Absolutely. And I mean, in this today's session also, number of times Sohel said and number of times I went back to say, is it a more amazing people or so speaking? <laughs> okay. All right. Mahindra. Uh, yes. Uh, I just uh, recently means... Uh, मैंने अभी जस्ट ये अपलोड किया मतलब यहाँ पे but uh, एक थॉट uh, है I don't know uh, everyone face or not uh, ATM में हम लोग जब पिन uh, कोड्स ऐड करते हैं so टाइप करते हैं so वो mostly uh, we use the patterns मतलब एक बार वो सेव हो गया in our mind so we use the patterns L type X type or something like so ये है recognition and rather than recall thing I think that 
नहीं नहीं सॉरी आई डिड आई एम कंप्लीटली मिस्ड आउट व्हाट फिर से बोलो या सी व्हाट हैपेंड uh we use our uh, we are using pin codes okay right. so uh mere atm ke liye ek pin code hai right hmm. so wo pin code hai ek certain number so hmm. wo certain number i i'm just uh me pin code jab dalta hu wahan pe just typing that pin code hmm. so wo ek hota hai pattern it hmm. creates a pattern right yeah. so wo pattern mere माइंड में ऐसे से होता है कि ऐसे वो बैठ जाता है कि देन आई रिकॉल दैट पैटर्न नॉट दैट नंबर करेक्ट बट इट इज नॉट फील्ड यू आर एब्सोल्युटली राइट एंड व्हाट यू आर सेइंग बट दैट्स अ दैट्स अ वे थिंग्स हैपन इट इज नॉट अ पास और अ फेल व्हाट यू आर सेइंग इज एग्जैक्टली व्हाट करुणा सेड सम टाइम बैक राइट द मोर यू यूज द मोर यू आर यूजिंग दैट in your mind you know you are passing through exactly those things repeatedly you are doing those actions Correct. the more you are getting exposed it becomes second nature what is the second nature it's basically uh, then it becomes very subconsciously you are just quickly doing things right so that is truth so that's the fact that is there it is not a pass or a fail okay that is how it is it means that you start recognizing actually yeah. because you have repeatedly you have taken the action it's a recognizing and as yes. you are doing some uh, uh, less frequency with that information it is recalling it's like you are retrieving from the memory that's the difference and uh, uh, the rupali why we got a first time confused with uh, uh, the previous slide it's because he said the pin code and for me it's in like pin code is like a zip code Oh, no. so yeah. i was thinking in that actually what he is talking about okay then i realize okay pin code is like for the atm that pin code atm pin code. Yeah. Yeah. yes okay yeah correct so it's not uh, you understood mahendra right yes, this yes, is not yes, passed yes. or failed or anything this is how patterns are you uh, the more you uh, get used to sort of do uh, actions repeatedly they are some patterns that happen and either through your uh, hands or yeah. when you yeah. recognize yeah. something or it is auditory all of these um, senses start sub, you know responding subconsciously to those thing without re less res lesser of recall okay. that's answer yes okay now uh, we are end of the day for the recognition guys there is a one tip we should always uh, if you have noticed we always write the number in a 3 3 and 4 6 sequence like it's in a mo mobile number mostly you have seen that that we you, like for example my number is 9004484136 so it is always a 3 3 and a 4 okay yeah. so this way the number remember in a mind so whenever you are creating any field like that it's in your interface you should always ensure that this 3 3 and 4 chunk goes because that's actually the way it stores into the memory especially for for the numerical things yeah we can go ahead right. correct yeah I think uh, yeah one zero three name name please talk. उससे पहले मेरा वाला हाँ लेकिन complete हुआ क्या I saw that you were doing something नहीं ये नहीं मैं जिफ है oh अच्छा जिफ है okay I thought you were doing something okay बोलो we so just can, may... okay we can extend for three months yeah go mm. ahead so this is that XD feature when you you can create components out of it. and you can reuse at multiple places and ah, sorry but hum log abhi kya dekh rahe we are showing flexibility and efficiency of use ha yeah. go ahead okay so using a component and using at multiple places and still having that feature to update out all the multiple places which you have used and further it gives you option okay if you have still used and you want to update some of the items still you can do that so if you can see on the zip file is changing that color and the dimensions it is also changing but it is also we giving the option on the second one to update yeah so that's a efficiency that has been built up okay so first is that you can just normally create a button yeah or a component you can just normally do that for new users nobody don't be thinking about components and all of that right just buttons you can create you can just use it in your interface and all of that yes. as from experts and you have you become power users and you have teams to work on so there is teams of experts or mixed uh, things mixed people who are new and experts and all of that as a team you can start using some of these features so that 
you know there is efficiency and speed at what you're doing yeah also yeah. i can add libraries also into this example correct and giving the access to other users as well so correct. they can simply drag and drop and use the same correct so these are libraries again you know this is again for more like power users uh, so that you they can use central libraries you're working as teams so this is different types of efficiencies but if you know not necessarily that when you start as new user you have to start with a library it is i'm what i'm trying to stress out is one application is allowing you to uh, handle it as a new user as well as supporting you as you grow as an, in your expertise or as you grow as working as teams right so this, this is a good example perfect yes varun yeah, so uh, in Gmail, we can, there is an option to select all the email and do certain actions like read and read, star and, and, and star. We can do this by uh, clicking on individual uh, email also. But mm -hmm. this option gives speed and acceleration to the users. Yes, thank you for comparing that, you know, as a, a new user, I'll be able to just take action at one time also, I should be able to do that. But once I start using the system more often, and I want to then start confidently take uh, bulk actions, yeah. Yeah. that you want to select multiple things and just take actions, all of those, I'll be able to do that. So I like that you've compared it between uh, new users and yes, perfect. Any thoughts, comments that anybody wants to add here? Any of the two, 102, 103? OK, let's move it. Mahindra. And I think that is the last one. Yes. Mahindra. Yes, yes. Uh, currently, I am uh, using this app, Kuku FF. I mean, this is very helpful for uh, uh, listen the audio books. And I think this is the best example for uh, flexible and uh, this uh, Easy to way uh, access the all books to listen and all take and here one uh, they provide the uh, more driving mode so I can uh, listen while I'm driving so this is I think good okay yeah so what you are saying normally you can listen to podcasts that is probably generally how people will start using but then as you there it is it is able to help you out with different kind of scenarios right you're driving yes, yes. Running, uh so or you're on the go so it is supporting also people who are not really uh at one place but are on the go and still it is supporting that so that's a flexibility that it is giving the ui is adapting to that uh, person wherever that person is in action correct correct okay, okay. Yes. okay. all right Yes. Mahindra, I wanted to say something to you. Yes. First of all, uh, I'm really happy that you are using this Kufu FM. I heard from the Dhru Rathi. Okay. And uh, this is nice. I also wanted to buy it uh, one day. But uh, you mentioned that when you're driving, you're listening this one. I, yes. I think you shouldn't do that. If you're not driving and you're sitting in the vehicle, then it is fine. Because when you're driving, your mind is engaged for on, your, on the road, on the wheel, and also you're listening. And this multitasking is is the dangerous. Please don't do that. Yeah. Okay. It's a risk. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. Uh, for I, <clears throat> Hi, Rupali. Uh, I have one thing. So I just uh, I was thinking to add this flexibility, but I have one in uh, example uh -huh. that we basically use daily on daily basis. That is a uh, when we are taking a screenshot in our mobile phone. We generally, for the new user, they uh, basically uh, press the power button and the volume lower button hmm. and to, to, to take the screenshot. But there is other way to take the screenshot. That is, we can swipe from the top and we can take the screenshot. Hmm. So this could be the flexibility and efficiency to use. Yes, absolutely. Especially our handheld gadgets give a lot of opportunity for us to do exactly that, right? The way you pick up your calls. Hmm. The way click photographs probably you might want to really use the touch screen to click photograph or you can set up and you can customize your buttons that you would want to the physical buttons that are there on the phone that you want to really click them and not really you know uh, touch screen to do that so yes you're right 
uh, on the device there are a lot of different uh, flexibilities that you give uh, uh, yes to, yes to do certain actions yes good example yes i think great uh, we, one more fantastic session i am very happy uh, and i think everybody has spoken today right Almost, yes. almost, almost. Yes. Yes. Thank you for that. Perfect. We have two more sessions. We are going to be having um, the last uh, few principles that are there, uh, eight, nine, and ten. Uh, we are going to be discussing it on Monday. Uh, sorry, Tuesday, and the last session is going to be on Friday, where we are going to be talk discussing about examples, and probably we'll have a short uh, assignment. Uh, or some kind of yeah something we can call it an assignment uh, on friday yeah okay all right thank you thank you thank you thank you bye, -bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye.